Did you like try stomping on it or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, I was trying to put it out with my with my foot, but it wouldn't. There was smoke coming from the floor. It was a cell phone on fire. It was on the ground. I ran to get the battery containment bag. Um, Uh, today's date is August 23rd, 2021. The time is 2126. The case number is 21-61732. Uh, location of the interview is Cargo 6 on the AOA. Interviewing officer is Officer Dahl. Are you aware the statement's being recorded? Yes. Are you willing to have it recorded? Yes. What is your name? Shana Anderson. And what is your date of birth? Okay, uh, can you tell me what happened tonight? as far as why the police and the fire department responded? Yeah, so after landing, I went to get a call light, um, chatted with some passengers about their connection, and I noticed the road directly behind them, there was smoke coming from the floor, and it was a cell phone on fire. I believe it was the gentleman sitting in like the D seat of row 11 ish um and it was on the ground lots of smoke some sparks i ran to get the battery containment bag um let the other flight attendants know that there was a fire told them to call the pilots and we got a fire extinguisher and started fighting the fire put it in the battery containment bag put it in the lav okay uh what was he doing during this time he was sitting there trying to, like, not, he was, like, concerned about his phone, but he wasn't, he was sitting in a seat. <laughs> kind of like he didn't know what to do? Yeah, because there was just smoke everywhere. And... Okay. Uh, and was the phone on the ground or was it in his lap? I think he had dropped it right when I was talking to the girls. Because I think it had just started smoking when I was right there talking with them about their connection. So, because I, I think I heard a thud, like a phone falling on the ground, and then he was like, phone, and all the smoke smoke. And you guys were on the ground already? Yes. Taxiing to the gate? Taxiing to the gate. Okay, and then can you describe them to me? I mean, honestly, I didn't even look at the guy, really. Okay. I just know it was a guy. Just and there was a guy. female at the window, so I'm assuming that it was the guy's phone. I, it could have been the female's phone. Okay, and you think maybe 11D, or in that yeah, area? Yeah, 11, 9, 10, 11, yeah. Okay. Forward part of the cabin. Okay. Um, and then where did you guys put it? The phone, you put, put it, it in that Put it in the bag? aft left lab, yeah, in the battery containment bag. Okay. Um, is there anything you'd like to add to the statement at this time? Do you think mm. we didn't forget to go over, or? Okay. Uh, was any forced threats or promises used to make you give this statement? No. It's a long one now. Do you certify under penalty of perjury under the laws of the state of Washington that the foregoing is true and correct to the best of your knowledge? Yes. Uh, today's date is August 23rd, 2021. The time is about approximately 2200. Case number 21-61732. Uh, location of the interview, a D concourse. I think we're D9 right now. Interviewing officers, Officer Dahl. Are you aware the statement's being recorded? Yes. Are you willing to have it recorded? Yes. What is your name? Robert Lee. And what is your date of birth? Okay, Mr. Lee, can you tell me what happened tonight on the flight? Uh, I go to charge my, my phone was charging. I took it off the charger when I cut it on. The phone started heating up, melting. It's heating up in the middle and it started melting. I dropped it on the floor, signaled for the flight attendant. She came along, saw that it was smoking. She went back and got a fire extinguisher. She tried to put it out once, but it didn't go out, so she had to get another fire extinguisher to extinguish it twice, and then it finally went out. Okay, and so you had your phone charging through the flight, so you yeah. guys had already landed? Yeah, we had already landed. Okay, and then you went to go power up your phone, and, and then that's when it kind that's of, when it kind of went started. sideways? Yes. Okay. Um, where was the flight attendant? Was she close by? Was she far away? She was. She had. She was like two seats ahead of me. Okay. She had just passed me by. Okay. Um, and then you said she ran to get. Did you like try stomping on it or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, I was trying to put it out with my with my foot, but it wouldn't. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, and then, so they put the fire. They tried once, mm-hmm. didn't go out, and, and then it. And they she had to extinguish it again. Extinguish yeah, it again, the and then problem. they put it in a bag. Is that right? Yeah, or? she put it in an orange set. Okay. They put it in an orange set. The part that didn't melt to the floor, she put that in an orange set. Okay. Um, is there anything that you would like to add at this time to the statement? No, I don't. Uh, was any force, threats, or promises used to make you give this statement? No, sir. This is a long one now. So, do you certify under penalty of perjury under the laws of the state of Washington that the foregoing is true and correct to the best of your knowledge? Yes, sir. Uh, this statement concludes at approximately 